Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. I'm Silver Orpheus. Last time, we took on Cerulean City Gym and defeated its leader Misty, earning ourselves a Cascade Badge. This time, we're going to go ahead and be leaving Cerulean City Gym, but not before um, something comes up. So you remember Officer Jenny, right? Well, when she said she wasn't going to let her retat in, I don't think Squirtles were the sole exception. Let me get this straight. You're over here watching this house. Let's go inside. And apparently this house looks like it just got hit by something. It they broke a table leg. Left a bunt left like huge footprints that looked like a Pokemon did it. Broke the glass off. Broke the glass over on that shelf and bust a hole in the wall. And what do you have to say about that? Look what Team Rocket have done to my house. And they stole my TM. They can teach Mankey and Sandshrew dig. Well, that probably explains how the hole was made. Now, what I absolutely love is this guy's text. So you have the Rocket Grunt out here. Officer Jennings was over there. Couldn't even see this guy right here. I'm saying here a lot, I need to knock that off. Anyway, we talked to this guy. Hey, stay out. It's not your yard. Huh? Me? I'm an innocent bystander. Don't you believe me? Really? You're wearing the Team Rocket uniform. And that doesn't look suspicious to you in any way, shape, or form. And you don't think that this looks, uh, and you don't think this does not look suspicious to anybody in any way, shape, or form. Nah. Uh, let's just use headbutt. We're, we're just gonna go ahead and completely ignore, uh, focus energy for right now. Go straight in for headbutt. That didn't do as much as I in had anticipated, but... This thing apparently doesn't give anything, and we'll just continuously go for quick attack. Uh, I believe we can handle one more. Well, okay, we're just gonna go for something different. Goodbye. Critical hit. Well, let's play Curse right there. Unnecessary criticals. Spiro, let's not have this happen to you again. We already had the fact that you had hang on, uh, held on to a level up uh, with only two experience to the next level. Please don't have that happen again, and it was even worse in test playthrough, because in test playthrough, it was one experience. So let's go ahead and see what, um, what's going on with this experience we have right now. Uh, see what we got going on. Nine. Well, at least it wasn't as bad as it was last time. Anyway, we got the dig TM. Let's just head out of, let's just head out of Cerulean City. Uh, there's a lot of things going on over here, and now we can finally head out to Route 5. Now the biggest thing here on Route 5 is that there's quite a bit of some new encounters here. Um, while I'm going over the Pokemon bios, I'm actually gonna start just going to keep on encountering things, actually training up my Pokemon. So, starting things off, we have Pidgeotto. Uh, I've already went over this family back on Route 1. But the biggest new thing I can talk about with Pidgeotto is the fact that it definitely has bigger stats, but it's still painfully average. I don't recommend Pidgeotto for pretty much anything. If you want a flying type, go with Spearow. It will not let you down. Next up is Vulpix. So this one is very weird. In Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow, there was a, there was a stat called a Special Stat. Uh, which is basically the special attack and special defense stat combined. Well, Generation 2 split those stats from just being one, and now they're just two separate stats. Um, the stat distribution for Vulpix in Generation 2 was very weird. They decided that they were going to give um, Vulpix's special attack stat Absolutely nothing, but instead give it spe its former high special stat to special defense. When a lot of um, Vulpix's great moves are actually special attacks. 
addition to that, it doesn't have a lot of great um, physical attack either. So, it's not a really good Pokemon. Next up, we have Growlithe. Growlithe is exclusive to Let's Go Pikachu. Oh, and another thing about Vulpix is that it's exclusive to Let's Go Eevee. Um, yeah, back to um, Growlithe. Well, the biggest thing I can say about Growlithe compared to everything else is that if you're playing is that in Let's Go Pikachu, you're going to want to catch five Growlithe, like I caught five Meowths earlier. Um, reason being is that there's a particular side quest later on. It's actually the same one that I caught those five Meowths for. And we will be, and I will definitely be getting to that side quest soon-ish, but it's not going to be, like, immediate. And finally, after all that time, I finally caught something, and of course, of all the Pokemon, it was a Vulpix. Uh, Spear also got to level up off of that. Um, Growlithe, when fully evolved, becomes one of the best fire types in the game. In fact, I honestly think it is the the best fire type Pokemon. Arcanine is a beast. Great physical attack. Great special attack. Great defenses. The only issue is is that it doesn't learn a lot of moves. But what's the problem in that? And Next up, in the Pokemon I just ran into, Abra. Oh boy. Abra. What an amazing Pokemon this is. If I can actually accurately throw a Pokeball without it going swerving into a direction I don't want it to. Game. So, um, Abra. Pure Psychic type. Here's the thing, though. You're gonna have a lot of trouble catching this thing. You wanna know why? The only move that Abra knows by default is teleport, which all it does is ensure escape from a wild encounter. You wanna know what that does in Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee? Absolutely nothing! Yeah, I'm dead serious. Because, you, because you're because you not gonna be using any moves in Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee whatsoever, teleport does absolutely nothing. So, what's the benefits of having this thing? Well, in hitting level 16, Abra will evolve into Kadabra, which is a very solid Pokemon. In addition to that, it will learn a new move called Kinesis, and also, it will also learn Confusion. In addition to that, even in base form, Abra has a lot of special attack. It is one of the best special attackers in the entire game. That is the biggest hurdle is, of course, its move pull and the fact that um, it doesn't have the best defenses. And last but certainly not least, we have Jigglypuff. Oh, I've been waiting to get to this one. Jigglypuff, like Clefairy and Chansey, is your typical tank. And its evolution proves that, very, uh, proves that as well. Uh, would I recommend Jigglypuff over both Clefairy and Chansey? Heavens no. Um, it's not a bad Pokemon, but it's just outclassed by Clefairy in pretty much every way. So that pretty much does it for every Pokemon in this route. So there's actually something else uh, over here. This right here is the Pokemon Daycare. And the Daycare Lady, I, I look after and raise the Pokemon of trainers who leave them here with me. Now then, what can I... What would you like to do? Yes, you can actually drop off Pokemon. In this game, the daycare, all it really does is just increase levels of your Pokemon, nothing else. Hey there, the name's Mr. Hyper. Listen closely. And yeah, he has something for us to be able to become champion. Uh, yeah. Nothing really good for us there. Uh, also, there's a Jigglypuff over there. Uh, well, so you're wondering why it is looped back here. Uh, and it wasn't the run into a Jigglypuff. Okay, so before I got so rudely interrupted, there was something over here that I like to grab. I'm not sure if I already grabbed it or not, but eh, whatever. It's really no big deal. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and move on. See what else we got over here. All right, and here we go. And we have a very um, 
important figure over there. So we're going to pick up all of these items and actually go and talk to this young fellow over here. What do you got for us, Trace? Oh, hey, Hunter. Seems like we can't pass through the gate there. But the underground path should take us to Vermilion City. It's a bit dark and spooky, though. Huh? Hold on. St hold still for one sec, Hunter. Dude, get away from me! I was wondering what that sparkly thing was. This was stuck in your hair. We got a revive. Wait, there was a revive in our hair the whole time? Revives can heal Pokemon that have been knocked out in battle. I have a few extra, so here, take some of mine too. How courteous of you. It's like you know my Pokemon are going to faint soon. Maybe those will help you when you take on the next gym. Well, we've been doing perfectly fine so far. I mean, we didn't lose a single Pokemon against Misty nor Brock. Huh? Are those SS tickets you have? Here, take one. And we gave Trace one of our SS tickets. Just like Bill said, give it to a friend. Hey, are you sure I can have this? You know I'm definitely going, right? Where'd you get this, anyway? Eek! You got it from that talking Pokemon? What? Oh, it was a person after all. Well, I guess that's good to hear. Hey, uh, just forget about the whole thing, okay? I think I'll press on ahead. See you there. And I guess we're going through the underground path. Let's head on down. I get. What do you have to say, good sir? What do you, what, what do you got for me? When a Pokemon is on my shoulder, it will let me know when. Oh, when it's with its tail, when there is an item on the ground nearby. Yeah, we've already kind of demonstrated that in like the first few episodes, and I know Ivy and I know Bulbuck that's definitely done it before. Here we are on the underground path, and for some reason it plays the Route 1 music. Now, what I love to do is that there is a feature in multiplayer in this game that you can actually do if... Um, if you have a friend with you, you can definitely do this. What I'm going to do, though, because I am one lonely fellow, is that I'm just going to go ahead and summon a support trainer. I am in control of both of these trainers. Now, what I like typically like to do is that I like to get on both of these tiles, one on red, one on blue. Uh, if I can just get you to the correct spot. Race! And she lost because she hit. She got off the ground. Both of your characters will move at the exact same speed, by the way. So the, big thing of, the big thing of interest here is that if you just so much as walk off, you lose. That's pretty much all. Uh, anyway, while we're walking down here... You don't want to miss any of these items, like this one right here. Allure. Something that I'm probably not going to be using unless I'm hunting down some incredibly rare Pokemon. However, let's just go on ahead and head on up. What do you have to say, lady? The lighting's not great in the underground path. People drop a lot of things down there, I hear. Yeah, someone dropped some pretty useful items that I'm probably not going to be using, though. So, okay. We're gonna go ahead and head on up here. Because there's an item ball over here. And we're gonna go ahead and pick up that super potion. Next up, over here, we have something. Oh! Rare candy! By the way, you can find it in this exact spot every single day for an infinite supply of rare candies. Yeah, if you guys couldn't guess, let's go Pikachu and Eevee are actually pretty easy games for the candy issue. But we'll be going, I'll be going in more detail on that much later on. Uh, Gentleman Edward has an Eevee. Well, I guess we're playing Let's Go Pikachu, and you didn't see Eevee for some whatever reason. You can find it here. Seriously, though, you're, when you're when you're playing Let's Go Eevee, you yourself has have an Eevee, and if you're playing Let's Go Pikachu, Trace has an Eevee. 
So, why would you exactly? So, why exactly would you not see Evie? Exact. It's for. It's simple. You can't. It's actually impossible to not see Pikachu or Eevee throughout the entire adventure. And two, these aren't even the first, these aren't even the only trainers in the game who even have these Pokemon. There are tons of trainers later on down the road that have both Pikachu and Eevee, including your rival. There's no point. So you know what? I was gonna go ahead and take out your Eevee. Uh, or you can use a full restore on a level 16 Eevee. Well, I guess if there's anything I'm going to be doing to you now, it's robbing you of your HP. Because that's like the most fun thing I can possibly do at this rate, because all you're doing is using Quick Attack and spamming full restores. Here you go. I think I think adding Sleep Powder to, to the injury is actually going to be really good for this next turn coming up. Uh, yeah, I'll just go ahead and rob you of your HP, and next turn I'm going to make sure you can't do anything while I rob you of your HP. That sounds very fun. Let's do it. And here comes another quick attack. Although, watch him use a full restore and get freed from the leech. Not the leech, but the sleep. Well, I guess we don't have to sleep anyway if we're just going to miss sleep powder all the dang time. Let's play Curse Striking once again, because every single time I use sleep powder when I'm not recording myself, it lands perfectly fine. It's every time I do record that it misses. Okay, game. You know what? Fine. I'll use Vine Whip this turn. If you want to play with me like that, that's exactly how this is going to go. Vine Whip, let's do it. Um, in case you guys are wondering about any potential new encounters on this route, this is actually the only route in the entire game that doesn't have a single new encounter. Yeah, that's actually pretty surprising. Um, no new level ups there. We're done with this guy. And also how cheap. You're a gentleman who's pretty rich and you only give us a lousy Pokeball. Uh, I don't want to fight... Pidgey. Okay, before I got so rudely interrupted, let's go ahead and get this Pokeball right behind him. Guard spec. Ugh. Alright. Now. I would like to take you guys on, especially you, good sir, as I think you have something of interest. I'm not sure. Sailor Elijah. What do you have for me, good tentacle? You are definitely a trainer of interest. Uh, tentacle? I am not exactly going over you right now, because you are not actually going to be available to us for quite a while, but name of the game here, very specially, specially defensive water type. That is actually really good. Later on, you're going to be you're going to be encountering this thing as about as much as you will Zubats, and Unlike Zubat in this game, it's one of those Pokemon that are super, super common that a lot of people think is just weak, but is actually really strong. Uh, yeah, it's going to just take you out. I mean, you're not really proving much of anything. Uh, you were already slower than me, and that's already proven one of my mistakes here. So it's going to bite you. Use less PP, because bite is definitely our weakest attack. Down you go. That's all for this guy. And Star is going to grow to level 20. And... No new level ups everywhere else. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and heal up Spiro real quick. Okay, back over here, there are these two trainers that I didn't fight last time. So you know what? I'm just going to take them on. Excuse me, this is a private conversation. Uh, excuse me, but I want to fight. That sounds like a very... You know what? I can actually see that happening. I can actually see somebody just walking up to a, like, to a, just a random couple looking for a fight. It, it happens. But you know what? I know is that, but I know what it is going to happen. You're about to lose your Neater and Female. To a headbutting Spiro. Uh, granted, it doesn't survive and double kick me. Get a critical hit in the process. That's good on you. You know what? Just for that, I'm going to up my critical hit ratio. And then I'm just going to go for Fury Attack this turn. Because with five hits going off, that's all the more reason for me to get criticals. One and two. Nothing special about that. Fury Attack, let's go for it. One. That was definitely a crit. 
two, another crit, three, another crit, four, another crit. <laughs> wow. Um, that was amazing. All four of those were critical hits. Jigglypuff. Okay. So we actually get to show this thing off in battle. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and stay in with Spiro. Because now we have focus energy going off, I kinda don't want it going to waste. Headbutt, do it. Uh, that did a lot. Critical hit! <laughs> Five crits in a row. That. Only in Pokemon. Uh, I guess in that case, we'll just go ahead and peck its eyes out, because apparently this is because you got nothing else going. Six in a row! Wow! Uh, Spiro, I've been really proud with you lately. You have not, you have done nothing wrong. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and heal up, and then we'll just go ahead and take on this guy. Alright, I'm gonna take you on. Quit listening in on us. Dude, I think you're kind of the one I wanted to pick a fight with the most, Ricky. Uh, let's go ahead and... Oh, you have a sand shrew. Oh, this will be most fun indeed, because every single one of our Pokemon here can take out a sand shrew. Let's see, Spiro is immune to it. Star is, well, very powerful. Also, Sizzly Slide is not uh, resisted by ground. And Bulba Fett has super effective moves for it. Uh, this is gonna hurt. Let's go for a record. One, critical, that's seven. Two, that's eight. And uh, before this thing causes any further damage, I'm just gonna go for straight for headbutt. Uh, eight criticals in a row. Wow, that focus energy is really doing a lot for us. And there we go. Eight in a row. There's the record. We did get the flinch, though, so that's really good. Spiro, you were... There's another one. That... Wow, these are a lot... <laughs> tons of... You see what I mean? Focus energy is a really good move. You just gotta know when to use it. Level 18 on Spiro. Pidgeotogre, level 12. Not that I care. Neater and male. Alright. You're the more offensive version. And I know exactly what I'm about to be doing with you. Because if it worked on Neater and Female, surely it'll work on you too. Uh, two, three, four, and Poison Sting. Uh, please don't. Okay, thank you. Um, Headbutt, take you out. And that was a crit. So that was five, I think. Yeah. You know, if you're getting so many critical hits that you're actually losing count of how many, you know you're lucky. All these critical hits. Anyway, I don't want to pick a fight with a Jigglypuff. That is one of the last Pokemon I want to be picking a fight with right now. Um, down here. We have more trainers in the form of two. Uh, there's also this item ball over here. Paralysis Heal. Now then. Uh, we got rid the data. Uh. I was about to say, um. Did I just completely avoid two trainer fights altogether? That's very bizarre. Camper Jeff. Very fitting name for you, good sir. Uh, Bell Sprout. <laughs> well. You're lucky I didn't heal. Because, uh, um. You were at quite the disadvantage at hand here, sir. Beck? Oh, you might actually... Nope, you're done. You made the wrong move there. I gave you the one chance and opportunity to make a move. And apparently you didn't take it. Goodbye. Um, by the way, this actually... Speaking of Bellsprout, this actually brings me to something very good. During my test playthrough, I was playing co-op with my good buddy Neo Dagon. We were playing co-op mode. I was using Bellsprout nearly the entire time, and for some reason that a that actually worked. It's very crazy exactly what happened, but yeah, Bellsprout just completely destroyed the entire the entire competition. Picnic or Isabel is going to send out a Charmander. Well, 
Uh, I know I'm about to get out and dodge because uh, this because Spiro being incredibly weak as it is, taking on a level 15 Charmander is not going to be doing anything worthwhile. And instead, I'm just going to go in with Star because Star has a very diverse move set, like most normal types typically do. And I'm just going to go ahead and do my and Star's just going to go ahead and do her magic. Scratch, boohoo. Here, have a headbutt to the face. Oh wait, you're a female Charmander. That's a very rare. Well, that was that was a thing. Well, with her defeated, we can now uh, progress into the next town, Vermilion City, and now we have Officer Jenny over here with the Squirtle. I guess that means that she caught it. Uh, before we do any of that, though, we're gonna head into the Pokemon Center and heal, and end off the episode. Next time on Pokemon, let's go Pikachu and Eevee. We're gonna explore around Vermilion City. See what the, see what this town has to offer for us. See you guys then.